Howdy, and welcome to this introductory video showing my new plugin called CD Springy Keys. Uh, CD Springy Keys is an expression tag that allows you to add springiness to an object's animation. You can add the springiness to an object's position, uh, scale, and or rotation animation. Uh, this allows you to add secondary motion or springiness to an object's existing animation without needing to do any additional rigging or set any uh, additional keys to the object's animation tracks. To demonstrate how to use it, let's take a look at a simple example. Here I have an animated cube and I've set keys for position, scale, and rotation so that the cube simply moves, rotates, and then scales. And you can see that the animation is fairly static. So uh, let's add a CD springy keys and I'll turn on use scale and I'm going to set the mass to 3. And now when I click play, you can see springiness has been added to the animation. Okay, let's take a look at the tag's attributes. Uh, in the tag tab, we have switches here where we can toggle on and off the position, scale, and rotation springs. And we have a strength slider, which gives us a blend between the normal animation and the animation with the spring in this added. Uh, if I set the blend slider to zero, uh, we get the normal animation. And if I set it to 100, we get the animation with the full springiness added. And uh, I can set it anywhere in between to get a uh, blend between the normal animation and the animation with the springiness. In the Forces tab, if we enable separate forces, we'll get individual stiffness, damping, and mass parameters for each spring. If we disable separate forces, then we get the master uh, stiffness, damping, and mass parameters, and these master parameters will affect all three springs. Okay, let's take a closer look at the force parameters and how they affect the spring. Uh, the stiffness parameter actually controls the amount of pull the spring has on the object. And uh, the damping parameter, that controls how much resistance against the pull of the spring that the object has. And the mass, of course, is the weight of the object. Now the mass uh, will affect the other two settings. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at an, an example here. Uh, if I increase the uh, stiffness, I'll go 100, and if I decrease the damping, let's go 20, and play the animation, you see we get a more bouncy, springy effect. And I'll go ahead and set that mass to 1. And you can see now that bounciness is, is much quicker. And if, if we decrease the damping, which is decreasing the resistance of the spring even more, uh, let's go down to 10. You can see that it oscillates uh, back and forth uh, for a longer period of time. Now if we decrease the stiffness, to 20 and increase the damping. We'll set that to 100 and play the animation. You see now we have a more of a delayed motion 
and it looks like there's a slight overshoot. If I uh, increase the mass to 1.25, there, now we have a slight overshoot in the motion. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you find a lot of uses for CD Springy Keys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Adios.